And now we're going to talk about 17th century stoners. Um, before tobacco came to the European mainland, uh, there, was, there already was a very old tradition of burning uh, certain plants, herbs and spices uh, for their alleged uh, medical, uh, medical uh, benefits and uh, mind-altering properties, uh, and then breathing in the smoke. Shortly after tobacco was introduced, people started to uh, add things to it to uh, enhance the flavor and add to its effects. Hallucinogenic ingredients like hemlock, uh, deadly nightshade and thorn apple uh, would be added to tobacco and even to beer for their hallucinogenic properties. Um, in the 17th century, all these concoctions would all be called belladonna. Um, and they were strictly prohibited by the church and the government, but people still uh, find, found ways to use them. One of these additives was cannabis. Um, cannabis uh, and hashish was uh, popular with Dutch sailors coming back from uh, the Indies and uh, from South Africa. And uh, it's most likely that the herb found its way to the Netherlands via this way. Many historians uh, say that the link with cannabis use in the Netherlands in the 17th century uh, is connected with uh, the hemp industry. Uh, personally, I don't think this is a thing. I personally, I think this is a misnomer. Uh, since the cannabis plants used in the hemp industry uh, have longer stalks and less flowers and the plants contain almost no THC. THC is the active ingredient that gives uh, cannabis its, uh, yeah, its desired effects uh, when ingested or smoked. Okay, so I have to interrupt myself here uh, because after filming this video I came across another theory that's also plausible and that the amount of THC in the hemp plants was cultivated out. Plants with a higher amount of THC uh, were indeed, like I said earlier, smaller and have short, had shorter stalks and bigger flowers. And within the hemp industry, uh, these plants were deemed to have less quality because they produced uh, less material to work with, and that's why they were often just discarded and thrown away. But I don't have actual sources or proof uh, to substantiate this claim. Um, if we don't have sources or proof for the things we say, uh, we, we mention it. And for all the other stuff we say, we have sources down in the video description. The biographer of the painter Adrian Brouwer um, states that, uh, that the painter enjoyed the use of cannabis. Uh, in the painting uh, The Smokers, you see a self-portrait of Adrian Brouwer, uh, surrounded by uh, colleague painters that were also friends of him. And uh, it's widely believed that in this painting you can see the effects of uh, smoking cannabis. And if you ever speak to someone who smokes cannabis uh, recreatively, uh, they will also tell you that uh, the different uh, facial expressions on the painting show different, fa uh, different states of uh, being under the effects of cannabis.